Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Planet Tyro for some more anime, manga, and Hollywood movie talk. I'm your host, Donald Wanda, and I had to get my buddy on, the Catface Killer, and I still want my old boy. You know, you gotta come with a Catface Killer, man. That's your second name. We need a, we need a new replacement for old boy. That's your task um, for 2018. Why? Because I said so, motherfucker. Do people call you two different names? Yes! Wait, what's your second name? Your master. Anyway, guys, on this discussion, <laughs> as you can see <laughs> on the title, we're going to be talking about Death Note. We're going to... And let me tell you something. If you've been following our anime discussions, we've always said that we're not really going to talk about Death Note because it's been done to death. And, I mean, there's not, everyone's spoken about it. We've got other stuff we want to speak about. But it's appropriate now because the Netflix original movie just came out to critical feedback very critical feedback some of you guys want our opinion and now it's a good time you know what we might just talk about the whole franchise now anime uh i never read the manga anime whatever the releases the other movies even the japanese movies i've only seen two of them let's talk about everything sure so you know what let's start with the anime guys look i'll, I'll make it short and sweet anime is a, a fucking masterpiece i love 80 percent of it Yes, the first... All right, spoilers, guys. Come on. And let me say that now. Just for the few people who haven't seen it, spoiler discussion. Leave now. Leave now. Spoilers. Well, how else can we really talk about this, like, realistically, if we don't spoil I'm it? I'm just being uh, a gentleman. I'm just being a gentleman. Spoiler warning. Okay. okay. Well, they're walking away. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat some kitty treats real fast. All right, that's fine. Thank you. <laughs> guys, so through the half of the anime, when after Light defeats L. A lot of people just think the series fell off after that. Don't get me wrong. The quality does dip after that. But I was, I still love seeing the world of Kira. I loved actually seeing the bad guy win. I like that part of the anime. What I didn't like was the last resolution. I thought it was just kind of, you know, you need two other L substitutes to beat him. And the way he lost is because, you know, Light got his servant to make a mistake. Light servant. Light didn't even lose because of him. He lost because his servant had a stupid routine that they got to exploit and I just like I don't know man don't get me wrong Light had to fall but I just wish he fell in a better way and on top of that 90% of people admitted when he died he died like a bitch he died like a bitch so the end of the death note I didn't like it but on a whole still a fantastic anime series to this day I went back and just watched a few clips it is a masterpiece anime even just with that last 10% that got a little bit tainted Love the anime. Yeah, that's me, man. I'll let you go. Uh, unlike you, I did the reverse. I did not watch the anime, but I read the manga. And my understanding is they're identical anyway. So that's. I think that's why we didn't bother doing the other media. Um, I'm going to say it's a low first class. Like I really liked about 60% of it. That's, a, that's up until the point where I think uh, Kira beats Light. Yeah. Um, up until that point, that's their, they have a really intense, super psychological, very well thought out in terms of narrative and psychology cat and mouse game. It's, it's really good. And then, you know, the, I guess you would call him the antagonist. The antagonist is defeated. And then, like you said, I, I didn't really like the replacement guys. And even though I still enjoyed the story, it was definitely one or two notches below from that point on. So instead of being like a high first class or a middle of the road first class, it's like a low first class for me. Because especially the ending, like you said, was just terrible. As somebody that was that smart, it, that showed like the first half of the story, it never would have gotten caught up in all that bullshit. Like never. That it was illogical the way that the guy got tripped up. Yeah. Like every little thing he could have possibly thought of. Like they, and he even had other like little tricks up his sleeve that he used. Like he had hidden paper inside of watch. Yeah. Why didn't he hide more? I yeah. mean, like what the, why? <laughs> so yeah. it's just like, it becomes inconsistent and just kind of phrased at the end. But it's still more likable than not, in my experience. It's one of the better stories I think. Um, and to what you said, to wit, you know that light has to fall. I don't agree that he had to fall. Like, if we look at some of the other stuff that we really liked, where it was borderline like the guy was evil, maybe, possibly, question mark. Like, Devil Man. Devil Man, the protagonist, died. Mm. So, and and we liked that ending. We, like, we loved that ending. So, like, to me, I don't feel like... I think, like, it kind of got frayed at the end because they said, Light has to die. 
he has to fail, he has to die. It's just like, I don't agree that he had to. I think if they had just cut it off when he beat L, would have been fantastic. It would have been maybe even Hall of Fame to me. Like it would have been like right up there in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, I I, I agree. It could have ended with him winning, and I would have been like, what an amazing, different type of story. And I agree. So when I heard Netflix was making an adaptation, and the director, let me get the, let me get the director's name. Director is Adam Wingard. Adam Wingard said that you know what, man, I'm an anime fan. I know about Avatar. The last airbender movie everyone hates i know about dragon ball evolution i am going to do this justice i saw a trailer and i thought to myself eh now at the time there was a lot of outcry american outcry about whitewashing and again why don't they get an asian guy and i'm like you know what man this is the one time i'm gonna say fuck all that because the japanese have made six fucking death note movies of their own yeah well you told me that i was like what are you serious yeah they got recap movies of the fucking series live action then they've got sequels to the those that go in that after the movie anyway so why am i you got an anime a japanese anime of it then you've got a japanese live action of it then i want to watch an american japanese character i'm like that's where it's all right for me to get an americanized version because i want to see a different take if you're going to do it so i'm like guys honestly it doesn't matter as long as the actor's good then that's fine so I didn't care for that shit, that whitewashing shit. This time I thought, I don't care because we've got the Japanese. You want to watch a Japanese live action Death Note? It's there. Let me see what the Americans could do. I've got an open mind. And obviously the director, again, talking all that. I know what I'm doing stuff. This movie, man. Oh, God. Uh, this movie, like, by itself, not great. Like, even ignoring the source material. Just, if you know nothing about Death Note, this is your first Death Note experience. Did not like this. I did not like this. Uh, can, can I, you know what? Let's just let me challenge us a little bit. I want to. I want to talk about the positives. Okay, let's let's talk about the positives. That's that's a good chore to start out. With. Yeah, because we're going to end. It's if we don't, it's going to be. It's just going to be a, a fucking okay. a bloodbath. So a bloodbath. usually you take the lead. I'll, I'll come out the door because I do know off the top of my mind. Okay. What I would consider positive. Number one. William Dafoe voice acting fucking fantastic. Yeah, he fit Ryuk very good. He made like they. I don't think they ever show Ryuk very well, and that sort of uh, concept for how you portray him in the story, yeah. where he's borderline more sinister than in the source material, and giving William Dafoe as his voice, really liked that. That was actually a very positive thing for me. Um, I he like. He didn't like the costume as well. I, I thought it was good. I thought, and you don't see a lot of it. That's what I like as I well. Can't, yeah, I was gonna say I can't remember seeing it very clearly that well. Yeah. But I, like I said, the murkiness of how like you never get a great sort of uh, image of him because he's always kind of like in yeah. the dark and stuff. Yeah. I really liked that. Exactly. I did like that. Yeah. And speaking of the way that his costume looked, just in general, the visuals very good. Very pretty yeah. movie. Yeah. Very, very pretty actors. Uh, the guy that acted L, I liked the way he looked. And before he started falling apart, which L never would have done, mm -hmm. I liked his acting. I think yes. he was very good in his portrayal of L up until the point where he started to just self-destruct. To me, that was like that that L would never do that. Because in the manga and the anime, I'm assuming the anime too, mm -hmm. his right-hand man, the butler guy, pretends to be him right out the bat as a gamble to see – does it work this way? Like his his right hand man staked his life on this, and then he died like right in front of him. And instead of becoming like just completely falling apart like he did in the American version, it just drives him to be that much more sharper and on his game. Hmm. Uh, what else is? I, I started dipping into the negative. Sorry about that. Oh, no, you're, you're covering you're covering my parts because honestly, let me just come. I have to jump in there with you because everything All you right, said. Right. 100% agree with you, Vayuk. Fantastic. William Dafoe, absolutely fantastic. And like you said, the choice for them to keep him in the dark and not show him on... I think that was a great idea. And again, going to the Japanese movie, they just did it the other way. They just showed him. And even though it looked goofy in the Japanese movie, I still appreciated that they just went for it. And in this movie, they found a balance. Like, well, we can do it, but we're not going to do it because we don't need to. And I thought that was great. Now, the actor who plays L, his name is Lakeith Stan... I can't say his second name. <laughs> Like, let me say it again. Like he's Stanfield. Yeah. He, I thought it was fantastic. And it just like you said, except for the writing, his mannerism, obviously L being a black kid, 
that's definitely going to be like, really? As soon as I heard that, I was like, really? I'm all for diversity, but I thought that was a, it was a gamble. But the, the yeah, act- to me, like when I when I saw his face, like you can see what skin tone the person is with their eyes, right? Because that's all he had exposed. It's like, yeah, I don't think his race really mattered to me. So what I was looking for was his acting, which his acting was great. Yeah, it was. I didn't like their portrayal of the character <laughs> in the second half, but yeah. his acting, even with that as the character, was really good. I liked yeah, it. Very, very good. And that's where the positives end. <laughs> Honestly, look. Let's just, let's just get to the shit, man. How the fuck, man? All right, you know what? What did they get wrong the worst? Like, the main character. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm gonna say the main character was just an average Joe, whereas in... I mean, they say he's smart and everything. He's not really smart, by the way, by the actions he does in the movie. Okay? He's not a genius. He doesn't even... He's to not, me, no. he didn't even have that righteous righteous ego he, he just nope. and and his fucking girlfriend mia who in the anime manga is completely different completely it's meant to be a subservient fangirl but in this movie she's more or less lights character without the smarts she's the assertive one who wants to kill but honestly they make these two they turn this into a fucking uh a a why a, a young adult thriller which is very disrespectful to the source material, and it is such a boring idea. And you know what's so funny? It it gives America a bad name because it's like this is what this is what an American would do with Death Note. We would turn this cool idea into a YA novel. And I'm like, wow, man! You said you you said you weren't gonna fuck this up, but you really, really gave America a bad name. Because honestly, this was one of the stupidest ideas you could have done with Death Note. Even if look, even look, I was more, I was more gonna be upset if they tried to copy the anime too much, because I knew they only had an hour and a half. I thought, how can you squeeze this all in? But it's nah, nah. I'm just gonna go a different way. I'm gonna make like a pussy. He's not gonna be clever. He's gonna be a pussy to his girl, and and they're just gonna be a power couple. What the fuck? I, I couldn't believe what I was watching. Honestly, the Misa character. I, honestly, it completely lost me. As soon as as soon as she was a bigger part of the the story, I was like, "When is light gonna shine?" He never shone through the whole movie. He was just a whiny bitch through the very end. And then at the very end, they try to ham fist. No, no, no. He's actually smart because at the end he outsmart. Fuck you. That was rushed as fuck. Not believable. Terrible writing. Absolute garbage. But like you said, maybe the the actual Ferris wheel scene that was visually cool. That was nice. But everything leading up to the right into the climax, absolute garbage. The movie is a fucking joke. It's very, look, I wasn't even angry, angry about the movie. I just oh, like, you sound angry. <laughs> I'm angry how silly the movie is. The movie doesn't make me upset because it's so different from the anime. It doesn't upset me. It's like this is this. You could slap a different name on this shit. Honestly, you could slap a different name on this movie, and you would just think they were just taking an idea from Death Note. Because honestly, this isn't even fucking Death Note. If you take out Ryuk, it's not Death Note at all. You could just call it... it you, that could have been an iPad they were using, you know? And it could have been a fucking alien. And then you've got a completely different movie. I know I'm rewriting the whole movie, but I'm like... Well, no, I think your version's better. <laughs> it probably, no, yeah, honestly, it, it sounds do. better. It really does. Because honestly, this is this movie is so fucking stupid. This is one of this is one of the worst adaptations. Not bec- let, me, let me tell you this. Okay. Yes, Dragon Ball Evolution is garbage. It's, it's nearly unwatchable, yeah? This is watchable as a narrative... But it's so been there, done that. It is so not Death Note that it is upsetting that the director thought that he was doing the anime justice because when I guess he, he took the word adaptation to a whole new level, man. Because this is a this is more or less a complete. This isn't even a parallel universe. This is some kind of garbage rewrite that is just pathetic. Honestly, it's just it's just terrible. Uh, okay, I mean, like I don't feel as strongly as you in terms of wanting to bash this, but I really did not like it either. Uh, what do I think was worse? My memory's a little foggy, but I believe you can do stuff like control the way people fell and whatnot, like they did with this Death Note. Yeah. I, like, I, like I said, it's been a while, but I'm pretty sure you can't be like, they fell and they missed this, but this other inanimate object fell into the fire. It's like, that's now you're starting to control things that aren't the people you're killing you know what i mean so to me that i think that was like the worst thing when i look back at it uh in terms of translation from death note 
the story was just terrible. I mean, like, I, I actually, honestly, I don't understand why when they adapted it, they didn't make it a college student. Like, to me, one of the only things that was kind of like a little like, are you serious? Was that Kira was a high school student. So, like, if they had done things like more logically to me, it would have been, they would have made him a college student. And then you would have, I mean, you, they might have still did like this terrible young adult romance shit. But less likely, because, you know, now you're looking at an older crowd that not really looking for the Romeo and Juliet thing. Because that's what this stank of to me was like Romeo yeah. and Juliet. Yeah, like they right. can't be together. They're just star crossed. It's yeah. like uh, I've seen it like a million times. I hate seeing it in anime and manga. I'm sorry for all those Shakespeare fanboys. Like, honestly, in my opinion, like it's just getting a little sidetracked. But it's my fine. feelings about Shakespeare is that like he mocked love like he didn't really respect it he didn't like it he thought it was dumb and that's why like a lot of his stories that center around any form of love are tragedies because the people who are in love whether it's like paternal love like in hamlet or not really knowing what love is because you're too young because like in romeo and juliet they're actually supposed to be like 13 and 15 they're like kids mm, yeah. so like not knowing what love is causes all these other fucking problems because you're just dumb uh, because of love like that's to me what Romeo and Juliet is and that's what this whole movie is it's just like two kids in love who don't understand what love is because they fuck just like in Romeo and Juliet the play they fuck too and that's what they that's why they think they're in love that wasn't even and love just, that was not even love no it wasn't it's just like a, but they think it is I think the characters think it is that's, he thinks that's it is that girl, that girl played in the whole movie that girl yeah played she did him. she just wanted to death know but my point is like that's what I was watching is just that sort of story narrative which was nothing at all like death note that had nothing to do with death note no. in the original source material like she loved him and like I guess he kind of uses her and stuff but it's it's functional whereas this is dysfunctional you know what I mean so it's just like pretty much every choice you could kind of make in terms of trying to have a similar story to the source material, but you have an option A and you have an option B. Well, I'm going to go with B just because it's different. Well, different is always better. Mm. Like, that's the best way to put it. It's like they always chose the other option when trying to form a story that's similar to the source material, and it was always worse. In some cases, very much worse. My bad, my bad. I, I made a mistake. One more positive without a doubt. Okay, go. Go for it. Let's hear it. Light Stad, Shia Wingham, our boy from Boardwalk Empire. Our boy, he's in, he's in, he's even in Narcos right now. Oh yeah, the the cop. Yeah, his dad, the cop. Yeah, he was fucking great. He's a great actor. He was actually good. Yeah, and I he was him. a great pick. I mean, he was fantastic. And oh, did did we kind of skirt over? Let's for, let's forget about the character. Let's talk about the actor playing light. Nat Wolf. People hated his guts anyway. And honestly, here's the thing. I don't think the script did him justice for me to say he's a bad actor because they make him out to be a complete pussy. I looked at him and I thought he could be an American light if he had the right character, but the portrayal and the writing for this character just made him a bitch, unlikable, whiny, crybaby high schooler. So it's like people are calling him a terrible actor, but I'm like, look, man, I don't know if that's fair because it's the writing. I don't I don't get a chance to see his chops in this movie. I just don't. Uh, no, I, I would say... Based off of what I saw of the character, his acting was fine. Like, his mm. actor was doing a high school kid who had no yeah. balls, who had no resolve, who couldn't make up his mind on shit, who thought he was in love, but he was just being used. Like, he did that fine. Like, to me, if if he wants to play that role in another movie, I think he would be a great choice. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I, that's what I saw. Yeah. I didn't have a problem with his acting. I had a problem with the character. <laughs> This, this, this isn't going to be a long review. Let's wrap this up. So the movie, obviously, it goes in its own way. And at the end, they try to make it some to-be-continued shit. You know, he tells his dad about the Death Note, which is, a, which is to me, I want to keep it's like the best scene. The final scene, to me, even I do, not, I do not like the direction of the writing, by the way. But the final scene in the movie is the best scene, just acting-wise, because Light's in bed. He has to talk to his dad about, you know, how he is, Kira. And, you know, I like that conversation they had. And then on the other side, you see L getting the, uh, the parts of the notebook from uh, the dead Mises house, which again, do you want to see what Light can, uh, what L can do with parts of the notebook too? I'm like, yeah, I always thought that would be interesting because obviously in the anime and manga, he dies, so he never gets to um, experience that. But I was just like, you guys fucked this up. And maybe it would have been maybe interesting because the interesting part about seeing L with a notebook is like, 
The L was meant to be a very just character about justice. It's always about justice. If he had the power, what would happen to him? Would it corrupt him? Which is a, a big theme about Death Note. You know, they say power corrupts ultimately, and that's the whole theme about Death Note. If you're given the power, what would you do with it? And again, I would have liked in a different alternate universe, maybe even as an alternate version of Death Note in another anime, what would it be like if L had the notebook? Would he really just keep it and keep and protect it? And, or would he take it onto his own hands to be taken by it too? Again, the movie looks like that's what they might think about doing for a sequel because he's going to get revenge on Kira, obviously, because he knows who it is now. And obviously, at the very last thing you see, he, he wants to do it. He doesn't want to do it. because, And I was thinking, yeah, that was an interesting concept, but you fucked up the movie way before you got to this point, so I don't give a shit. I don't want to see a sequel. It's a shame because it's a good idea. If you rewrit the movie in a different way, that might have been an interesting concept. But I don't know, man. You know, I was just... That was the best part of the movie. That last five minutes, I was like, interesting. But everything preceding that point ruined the movie anyway. So I was like, eh, it's a shame you fucked everything up because here you have a, an inkling of a good idea, but you ruined the movie. So if a sequel came out and they would continue this idea, I probably wouldn't even watch it now, to be honest with you, because I just don't like the way they wrote this. And I have no confidence in the director or the, the writer. I have none. Nah, nah, me neither. I mean, like you said, it's an interesting idea, but the journey to get to it, it completely washes it out yeah um to me though like if you if you're looking at the source material anyways which you wouldn't be at with this movie clearly at this point but the difference between l and kira isn't that l did not have the death note available to him it's just their personalities were different sure. the key like a lot of stories is killing inherently evil and that's the dividing line between the two it's if i think if l from the source material had the death note he would never use it Mm. uh versus kira had it he had very rigid ideals when he first inherited the death note yeah. and then you watch like in breaking bad uh, over time exactly. he starts killing for other arbitrary reasons exactly. including his self-survival like he was killing innocent people just so he wouldn't get caught eventually yeah. Yeah. whereas i could never see that happening to l from the anime and manga like his Correct. whole thing was like Correct. i believe in justice i don't believe in killing though like yeah. so i could never see that happening in the movie like in the sequel could i see that happening yeah sure of course mm. would i want to see it I might if I was bored, but I'm not like, oh, that's such a great idea. That was such a good movie. I want to see it. It's, I don't. I'm sorry. I don't. It was boring to get to that point. I will say this. Making L such a rigid pillar of justice in live action would be completely unbelievable. So I understand why they had to give him a bit more humanity because if I just see him being so stubborn and yes, this is the Lord, because in the anime it works because he's more, it's a, it's an animated car. I, I bought that more and maybe, you know, actually maybe it's the writers. Maybe they couldn't convince me that he was a pillar of justice, but I don't know if I would buy anyone in real life that rigid, you know, that holy, than, holier than thou. It just doesn't seem realistic to me. Hey, uh, someone, I would like someone to prove me wrong. If they could write L in a believable way that he wouldn't use a death note, I just, I again, that's what I would, I would like to see the reasons why he wouldn't. In the anime, I could see it, but if that if that arc went on, like he had a Death Note and he wasn't using it, I'll be like, how long wouldn't he? Especially in other Death Note sequels, which I don't like, by the way, there's been more Death Notes. Like it becomes like this fucking, uh, what's that? What's well, that? even in the original source material, there were more than one Death Note. Like that's part mm. of the reason that made, like one of the greatest twists in the story was like, there's more than one Death Note. What the fuck is going on? Are you serious? Yeah. And it created this whole new set of scenarios, exactly. possibilities, and rules. Whereas like if you were to do it in uh, at least a continuation of this story, I don't, I don't fucking care. Like it was a mess to begin with. Yeah. I mean, everyone's got a gun in the Wild West. you got a gun, but you don't want to use it because you have this pacifist idea. It's just an analogy I'm trying to make. And I'm just like, I want to see why you wouldn't. I need to see it. It's like that movie that Mel Gibson just made about the, the Christian who didn't go to, who went to war, wouldn't shoot a bullet uh, with the last, I can't remember the name of the movie now, with the Spider-Man actor. It was okay. a good movie. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about, but okay, sounds good. Yeah, you do. But you probably, it won an Oscar. I think it won an Oscar last year or two years ago, but either way. Uh, anyway, let's wrap this up because we went all weird off topic, all the other stuff. In total, I am so disappointed that after all that talk the director made, the, the story he wrote, the adaptation he wrote, is so off base. In my mind, I see him thinking, I need to Americanize this, so I need to make this a YA story, and this is not a fucking good idea. I, 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 I guess I can see how he got to that conclusion, but I don't understand how he saw that on paper and thought, 
this is a good reflection of the original source material or the anime because I don't I just don't is there a way he could have done a YA thing between Light and uh, Misa and made it still more faithful to Death Note I think he could have I don't, that's another reason why I'm, I'm like because in the anime she's like a fangirl he doesn't give a shit all he cares about is his mission they could have made it more that he does feel for her I could buy that I could but this guy and the writer, they didn't make it believable at all. They just made it some stupid, you know, two two youngsters find a genie and they start doing all this dumb shit. And they have, honestly, the, that, that's not the reason I don't like the movie. To me, they had no fucking morals. They just did it for fun. Yeah, I mean, like, Light is not Light is not a just character. He just has the power. He's like, well, I guess I could do this. And he yeah. does. I mean, yeah. that's, yeah. that's the basis of the movie character versus... In the source material, he is very high ideals about justice, mm. and that's who he is at the core. Whereas this one is just like, like you said, it was just like a teenage rob. It's like I said earlier, it's like they had choices at every key juncture, and they're just like, I will do what's different than the source material. And if you did that sometimes, it could be kind of neat, but to do it for every single thing made it a schlock. Like, it made it bad. Like you said, they could have had a good, like, young adult. It could have been a young adult story about even a romance involved in it heavily. Mm -hmm. It just was, like, it was boring. It was the problem. There was, like, no real... Like, even the the L character, there was no real interesting characters. Like, uh, it just wasn't a good movie is the best way to put it. It just was kind of wishy-washy all over the place not very entertaining to be frank and that's that's probably the most important thing if you look at young adults is that's entertaining i think mm -hmm. so i mean mm -hmm. what what exactly were you trying to do by going in this direction you didn't go the full way before i give my rating let me just say this let me go back to the first thing you said oh boy i'm gonna try to take away my fanboyism for the anime all that stuff if i cast all that aside even this is a standalone movie is more of the fucking same. Honestly, you've seen this YA bullshit a hundred times. The Death Note element does make it a bit more interesting, but the way the movie ends in a rushed muddle and a to be continued, it's just like, I'll be like, really? I don't want to watch anymore. So honestly, my rating, first of all, as a fan of the anime, is a fucking clown shoes because it really is a fucking joke. Cause if you compare it to the anime, it's a joke. And as a fan of anime, it's a fucking joke, honestly. Now, stripping away my love for anime just as a movie, it's not feeling this. It's just, this is not a good movie. It's not a good movie on its own. But, yeah, so there's your two ratings. It's shit. Uh, for, for me, the same thing, clown shoes. Like, if you like the source material, don't bother with this. It's just going to... I mean, look at Don. It made him very angry, apparently. If you're looking at it, like, you don't know what Death Note is at all, I still don't say you should watch it. But, like, with that mindset, I would actually say it's kind of more like vanilla. Like... At this point, even though the concept of a Death Note is pretty unique compared to any other kind of powers you can think of and stuff, it's, it's literally two teens getting the power, they fall in love, question mark, and it's just a series of bungles, like any other kind of superpower teen romance story. So, mm -hmm. vanilla for me. But more importantly, you like the anime or the manga, or you want to actually see or read something, a story that's really cool... Just go straight to the source material. Don't fucking bother with this. Yeah. I know it's on Netflix. It's easier and everything. Fuck that bullshit. Okay? Yeah. Death Note, the original source material, is so much better than the movie that make the extra effort to either read or watch the anime or the manga and just ignore that the Netflix version ever exists. It's, it's fucking terrible. I don't like it. Uh, if you're here listening to us, you probably value our opinion somewhat. So... Yeah. So um, I might piss off a lot of people by what I'm going to say because I, I, I had a little think about it because the bottom line is when you come out into this movie, as an anime manga fan, you've got to ask yourself the question, what has this movie done for these anime adaptations to live action movies? Because again, if you guys are on the channel, you know that I've spoke about old oh boy and yes, I'm manga, anime, I'm, I'm putting them together for this discussion. You know, I'm speaking about um, old oh boy. I'm speaking about... Um, well, Battle Angel Leader is in production, so we can't talk about that. But there was one more I can't remember. There was another one. I'll oh. believe it when I see it, dude. Well, we'll talk about it in a minute. But 
Uh, what was the one? Um, oh, I never saw Ghost in the Shell, but again, I heard that was awful. Everyone said it was awful on so many levels. So I wasn't a fan of the anime anyway, so I didn't bother watching it. And that's why we, we uh, guys, just for the record, not a fan of Ghost in the Shell. I will watch it again one day because I do think it's very political. It's very, uh, you know, uh, I'll get to it. We'll, I'll, I will get to that. I've always said I will. I'll get to it. But, you know, movie didn't do well anyway. So coming away from this movie, do I feel that this enforces the fact that there can't be a good anime movie and this is the reason i say i'm gonna upset people i would say no because this is a step better if i take it all apart it looks better it's not as bad as dragon Ball Evolution. yeah I, I don't like it at all but is it better than dragon Ball Evolution? yes and it's not saying much it's saying you know two shits of different variations this is a lot better so this is like <laughs> this is like video games to movies translation yeah. The bar, is, the bar is very low. Yeah. It's the same it's situation. very, very low. We're making, we're inching. We're inching the improvements here. Visually, it was good. You know, had good actors, but the script was garbage. It had redeeming points, but unfortunately, when you're talking about a narrative that's a movie, those redeeming points were not the important ones. I do feel like that, I do feel like this ultimately... I don't want to say it's going to help to try. It doesn't hurt in my mind because it, it, it was a Netflix original movie. It wasn't an actual theatrical movie. It didn't come out in the cinemas. It only came out on Netflix anyway. It's better than the other anime movies. <laughs> so Sadly, it's like, yeah. yeah, so it's like, it's a step in the right direction. That's the most, that's probably the most positive thing I could say. And that's not good considering I don't like it, but you know, let's, let's cross our fingers, both fingers and paws for you for the Battle Angel Elite, which is filming right now. And let's just hope because they're, they're trying. Who's the, who's doing Elite? Uh, the director? Yeah. Let me check. Oh, no, it's Rodriguez. Rodriguez. We all know it's Rodriguez. Oh, that's right. It's where, oh, man. That's like, that's like so 50 50. Like, it could be, like, in terms of the gore, it could be right on the money. But in terms of his st- style of storytelling. Yeah, uh huh. I mean, he made El Mariachi one of my favorite movies ever. Sure. And from that point on, it just became more and more schlocky. Yeah. <laughs> just like, I hope I see El Mariachi and not Desperado. Because that motherfucker, James Cameron, is so obsessed with Avatar. And at the time of this recording, it's just been announced Avatar 2, 3, and 4 starts filming next week. The, uh, Nove- Why? Uh, what? Why? Yeah. I don't understand. That's like, it's not a good story. Who fucking cares? You know what? He, he's built this up for so long. He's poured so much money into this that that alone has got hype for the movie. Because I'm like, nobody likes a movie, but you, such a credible director, who's made such great masterpieces that you really want to sink all your money and decades, decades, 2009. So we're in 2019. Four, four fucking movies. Yeah, he's gonna be doing this for a long fucking time. Yeah, yeah that's what he said. Up to 20, he said up to 20, 20, 2029. Guys, we've, we've gone off rambles. We, we need to get the fuck out of here. Guys, if you like these kind of discussions where we, where we bitch and moan about adaptations like everybody else, then, you know, subscribe to this channel, Catface. Thank you for joining me on this one. You'll never be disappointed whenever we happen to cover one of these sort of things. Probably not, but a lot of you guys were requesting this, so we got it off our chest. If you're on YouTube, guys, you can see some annotations on the screen to some other discussions. Guys, we've got close to 500 goddamn videos where a good chunk of them are anime and manga talk. So, <laughs> if you want more anime and manga talk, click on the top right corner to go to the discussions. we got playlists galore. If you're listening on the podcast, there'll be a link in the description. Guys, we're going to leave you at that. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you on the next recording. Don't ever ask me to do one of these again. Uh, yeah, I'm, I've been pretty disappointed, and I hope... When it comes to Alita, I'm not going to be super disappointed, too. Yeah, there you go. I won't have to, because we're going to do Alita. So, there you go. All right. Bye-bye.